Hello, it's Queen Haley B here with a crazy video that I almost regret making. You'll see why soon. We're gonna build a Minecraft barrier house. At first, this sounded like a piece of cake, but building an invisible house is about as hard as it sounds. I ran into so many walls, fell down so many stairs, it felt like I was in a mirror maze. Despite my mistakes caused by lack of coordination and lack of visible anything, I think you guys will be shocked by the finished product. So with that being said, let's begin. Now first, I start by laying down the outline for my 5x5 building system. Nothing out of the ordinary, I'm just going to pretend that I'm building any typical house that I would build. When placing these blocks down, I really underestimated the difficulty of this. It's really hard to see what I'm doing already, so I'm just going to focus on the black square outlines as much as I can so that I don't make a mistake. Once I have the structure down, I am going to attempt to decorate this house without being able to see anything. When you hold any item other than a barrier block, all of the visible red symbols will disappear, making it very challenging to understand what the heck is going on unless you have a barrier block in your hand. Despite all the craziness of this build and how hard it was to make, I definitely think that it would be a fantastic base. Visibility is great, so you'll be able to see any approaching mobs pretty well. For this house, we are in my own custom creative world World, so I plan to include some things on the land that will give this house a little more privacy if that's even possible. This is the second build that I'm adding to this world and I plan to make all of my builds in this world from now on until we have a giant Minecraft city. It's gonna be truly amazing. I'm going to build a lot of different custom biomes as well. This has been a really fun summer project that I'm starting and plan to continue this world probably for the next year or so. So stick around if you want to see how this world progresses. I'm really pleased by the structure shape of this build. It started to get really eye triggering though, building the floors and roof. So I spared you the 20 minutes of that. You're welcome. Now you get to see me stumble around in this house like I'm sleepwalking. Definitely feels like deja vu. I sleepwalk almost every night. So hopefully I've gained some skills from that and will be able to maneuver around this house pretty well. Or not. It took me around 40 minutes to build the exterior of this house. So I definitely feel some dizziness coming on after that. Working on the interior though is pretty nice. Except for when I occasionally have to switch back to my barrier block. Then it feels like I've entered some sort of warp space house. I really don't even know how to describe this feeling guys. I'm not 100% proud of this interior work. Since I can't see any walls, literally everything looks like it's sticking out and it's not where it's supposed to be. I keep wanting to put things against something, like a wall, but it's just not there, guys. I really feel like I'm tripping. I highly suggest you guys try this. I was laughing the whole time while making the shape of this stupid house. I thought I would have done a better job than this, to be honest. Maybe this is a wake-up call that my building skills are lacking. But don't worry, I'm not gonna give up this easily. By the end of this video, this house is going to look even better than a house that has walls. Just because it's missing that special something doesn't mean we can't salvage this and turn it into a livable base house. I'm adding in a crafting table and two furnaces in this corner here. It's not the most grand kitchen area, but it's a kitchen. That's all I have to say about that. Now, I'm gonna start decorating the yard. This part is very important since this house doesn't have a lot going for it. It's time to overcompensate by having the best yard in the neighborhood. Once the new neighbors move in, they will be able to see through everything, so we gotta make it look fresh. A pool is definitely a must for this situation. When my parents would go house shopping, they would always lean towards the houses with pools even if the house itself is a dump. So we are keeping that in mind today. I'm not gonna lie though guys, this house almost looks like an artistic sculpture with all the floating furniture and randomness. Art looks pretty random most of the time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend that this was intentional. This house is definitely growing on me. I could totally see myself living here. The attic space is nice, it's got good lighting, the location of this place is literally heaven, and I'd live in any house if its location is heaven. On the other hand, if this were in the nether, this would be a completely different 
story. Having a pool would be weird, and I would definitely feel uncomfortable in my living room because of all the bombs being thrown at my invisible wall. But hey, if that's your vibe, I'm not gonna judge you. The finishing touches are being added now, and you better prepare yourself because it's time for us to walk through this artful masterpiece. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace out.